Bond Court is a free service, but it takes several hours of my time every day. Less than 10% of Bond Court viewers hit the like button, and less than 1% leave a comment. If you want Bond Court to continue to be available on YouTube for free, then please hit the like button and leave a comment on all of my videos. Court right, um, is now in session. Uh, you have a misdemeanor pleable. Uh, there's, you're not out on anything. Uh, this is a trespass other than uh, structure or conveyance, and then a resisting an officer without violence. I do see where you you do have an open case, um, indecent exposure, indecent condition, or whatever that is. I'm not sure what that is. Um, and your honor, in that case, he has been deemed incompetent to proceed um, by a court, and he doesn't meet the requirements of commitment. Um, and based on the fact that he's been deemed incompetent, sorry, deemed incompetent by the court, I ask that you um, give him an ROR on the new case, it with the same conditions that he complies with any um, plan set in place by his doctor, and he takes all prescribed medications. And well, keeps in contact with his attorney. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that solve? Uh, I could do what you're suggesting, and what you're suggesting is certainly reasonable. Um, however, uh, how do we know he's not going to be back next week and two weeks from now? And are we in? Are we just setting him up to fail? So it, how how and can you help me understand? Um, Who's going to make him, and uh, what procedures can we do to help him help himself? Uh, I agree with your intent, and I have the same intent, but once he walks out the door, you don't know, I don't know, and then he's out there uh, getting in trouble again, and so we haven't solved anything. Um, And Your Honor, we deal with uh, the mental health cases every day. We have social services who, again, have services that can help. Um, again, he's whatever the doctor, his doctor has prescribed um, for his but medications. Do, but how do we know? And but you're, I understand everything you're saying, and I, I'm, I'm familiar with it. Um, but how do, you know, I just don't see how it's going to work. I mean, Your Honor, again, he, it's hard to qualify any of our clients for mental health pretrial release. You could screen them for mental health pretrial release, um, but that is the only other option at this point. There's really not much, many options available um, other than the services that we have with social services um, and his current doctor. But if he doesn't, sh if, first off, Who's making, the, is there someone making an appointment? His attorney keeps in contact with him as well as social services. And we also have doctors that go out to continue to evaluate him. So he'll have appointments where he has to meet with our doctors as well, um, Your Honor. But other than that, if he doesn't qualify for mental health pretrial release, uh, I don't know who else could monitor him. Hmm. Um. I just hate to set people up to continually, because they're ill, they make really bad decisions and then they keep getting arrested. So it's really, um, it's a real, uh, I would design a different system, but mm -hmm. um, that once you determine someone has the issues he has, that he would stay in some kind of, um, 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 facility facility to to work on to work on his to get him medicated and get him stable rather right. than because I just I just see another judge a couple weeks from now holding the same piece of paper mm -hmm. you know what I mean and and your honor um, again he's been evaluated the problem is if he, the doctor decides he does not meet the requirements of commitment they can't hold him, and he doesn't meet the requirements of commitment right now. And yeah. once he gets to that point, then they will 
make him stay in the facility, but as of right now, he does not meet those requirements. Well, uh, State, uh, I haven't heard from you, and I know you have good input and a good experience about all of this problem. Do you have a comment or a suggestion? Uh, Your Honor, I would suggest that defendant be screened for the mental health pretrial release, and if he doesn't qualify, then set a very low monetary bond. All right. Um, we'll go ahead and, and tr uh, try the mental health pretrial release. Um, and um, that, uh, as far as count one goes, um, we'll go ahead and do $100 and then count two, $100. Um, and um, okay. okay, and then the um, We'll go ahead and uh, you are not to consume any illegal drugs, um, that you are to be drug tested uh, beginning uh, 30 days from uh, the time you are released, be drug tested monthly by pretrial release. And if you are taking drugs other than prescribed drugs, uh, then you will be arrested and lose your bond and back in jail and we'll talk about this again. Um, uh, additionally, you are not to return to the scene of in this incident. Uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses. Uh, do not commit any further crimes. Uh, do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Uh, do not leave the state without permission from the court. And you are to attend all court hearings. But mostly, I want you to listen to me. Look into my eyes. I want you to understand that uh, if you, that you have, we have probably the best public defender system in the whole state. These are good people with a good program, and you need to take advantage of it. If you want to just go to prison uh, every couple of years, to go to prison for three years or five years or 10 years or 20 years. If you just want to be in and out of prison, that's your decision. But if you really want to help yourself, um, make a pest of yourself with a public defender. Call the public defender and say, I don't want to be sick anymore. I want to be well and I want to be free. And I don't want to be in and out of the Orange County Jail. And I want help. That's the first step of getting good, is I want help. We've got the facilities, and then you've got to decide. Uh, or you can just decide to be a criminal and just committing crimes, and, and eventually I or some other judge will be sending you to prison. And, and looking at your record, I may just send you to prison forever, uh, for as long as I can, uh, just because you're, uh, you're not able to stay uh, crime-free. So from a judge standpoint, I would max you out every time, let you stay in prison as long as possible, because maybe that's the best place for you, uh, since we don't have alternatives in, uh, in Florida or most states. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is actually trying to help you, uh, and I want you to help yourself but the, it all begins with your decision to either be a continuing to be in and out of jail or to try to make yourself well. All right, we'll see what happens. Thank you very much. Next. And there was no action on the autumn bond, correct? Correct? Okay. Okay, uh, next we have. No action. Okay, uh, did I forget something or? Oh, you said it was no action on the Alabama? Oh, yeah, oh. right, we'll just take no action. Uh, there's plenty of time for that. Um, okay, next we have uh, Nicholas uh, Alvoy. Okay, Mr. Alvoy, um, uh, I don't see where you're on any other uh, bonds or anything. And so you do have a failure defendant to appear so that belies what I just said.
So a failure to appear, is this a traffic or is this a prior felony case or anybody know what we're talking about? It's a felony and he has a misdemeanor case. Okay, and uh, he he's he out on bond? No, no, Your Honor. ROR or something? I'm confused. Your Honor, he failed to appear for court and the judge issued a warrant and set his bond at none on all counts. He has to go back before the judge who issued the photo. Okay. All right, then I don't have anything to do other than for, uh, this is a no bond case situation, and you, the judge that issued the warrant will take care of it. All right, uh, thank you. Next, we have Michael Rowland, Mr. Rowland. Yes, sir. Um, okay, looks like contempt of court, misdemeanor. Um, did that judge set any bond? Contempt of court for what? Uh, it says contempt of court misdemeanor. I and uh, yeah, I don't know. That's child support. That's he will be seeing a judge over in courtroom three. But we're here to um, address the driving while license. Only the driving. Okay. So um, you'll see another judge in another court probably uh, tomorrow or the next day or soon. Um, they told me as soon as I leave this courtroom, sir, I would go to that courtroom. Excellent. Wonderful. Yes, sir. See how efficient we are? Um, and so, all right, driving while license permanently revoked. Um, and is that a felony? That's a felony. And so let's go ahead and we'll do on that particular charge. Uh, let's do $1,000. Um, so... Uh, your bond is a thousand dollars, but hold it. I do see drugs and drugs and some uh, other issues. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, require him to not consume any illegal drugs um, because of your drug history. Uh, I've been clean now, sir, for quite some time. All right. Well, let's let's just we'll always check. You know. Uh, like the lady with twins, she had check and double check. No, I guess not. Um, the um, anyway, beginning, yeah, Pete and repeat, yeah. Um, had the twins. Uh, all right, beginning 30 days after you are released from jail, uh, pretrial release will contact you, and you will be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. Uh, if you test positive for any illegal drugs, you will be arrested. You'll lose any bond that you have and back in jail. Do you understand that? Uh, yes, sir, I do. Okay, all right. Uh, hopefully, it'll all be negative. I absolutely, sure, certainly will. Okay. Uh, do not return to the scene of any alleged crime. Uh, well, this is a driving, it's a but that doesn't really relate. Uh, do not commit any other crimes. Do not possess any weapons or firearms or ammunition. Do not leave the state without court permission. Uh, and you are to attend all court hearings uh, unless excused by your attorney. All right. Well, good luck, sir. Uh, how much is my total bond here? It's 1000 mm -hmm. So, like, it was 5000 and it went down to 1000 correct? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. I, I don't see it. If I, I think 5000 is too high for that. Yeah, it, it definitely is. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay, office. Let's see, this is this is pleable. Oh, this is arraignment. And um, okay, let's see, Devin uh, Lightsey. Medical, medical, your honor. Medical. Okay. Uh, is there this public defender? Do you want to look at this? I'll waive it. It's our plea of not guilty. All right, and. Uh, since this is an arraignment, uh, we'll set a trial date. Pre-trial, I mean. Yeah. Oh, denial, sorry. Um, the VOP will be in Division 85, April 21st at 9 o'clock in courtroom 4A. This is an arraignment again, uh, and the this is, uh, il, el, let's see, El Juan uh, Culpepper, and um, this is a battery. Uh, are, are you Mr. Culpepper? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Culpepper uh, will enter a plea of not guilty for you and uh, pretrial date? Uh, 
That'll be Division 50, May 2nd at 9 o'clock on Courtroom 7C. All right, thank you. Next, we need David Easley. You're going to have to. He just appointed us. Your Honor, and you appointed us on this case, correct? He didn't have yes. an attorney. Yes, I do appoint the public defender. I'm going to have to call him to meet with him. I'll see if that's the next court date. Maybe. Call the attorney, and they'll get you everything you need. Okay. Are you David, and how do you say your last name? Ely. Ely, okay. All right, Mr. Ely, uh, we'll enter a plea of not and Your Honor, yes. on Ely, there is an offer to resolve. Okay. All right, let's hear what it is. The offer is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served, no return to 2702 South Orange Avenue, and there is a cost of investigation in the amount of $98.40 to the Orlando Police Department. And Mr. Ely would like to accept it enter a plea of no contest. Thank you. Okay. Uh, State, I don't have his history. So does he have much of a history? No, Your Honor. That's why he got the withhold. Okay. All right. Uh, then, uh, thank you. Okay. Um, all right, uh, sir, uh, we need to swear you in first. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that Joe Plenty Bazadier should be retrieved the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right, uh, you heard the sentence uh, recommended by the state, uh, recommended by this uh, your attorney and, and, consent and agreed to by the state. Uh, do you accept that? Yes, sir. All right, and... Um, Restitution is not involved, I don't believe, so tell me if it is. Um, all right, and uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and impose that money and that time. Uh, we'll hold, withhold of adjudication. The time served is how much? 31 days, I believe. Madam Clerk. He's acting. He's not acting. Is it, oh, is that, is that what this is? Oh, okay, I, was, I didn't see it. Uh, 32 days, uh, credit for time served. Um, and uh, the public, ser public defender services are $50. And do you agree to that, or do you wish to contest it? I agree, sir. All right, and then uh, court cost, is this uh, 273? Say again. Oh, it's three twenty-three. The clerk tells me, um, and then we have the fifty dollars attorney's fee, and then we have the city of Orlando. Was it? Uh, and then what? Ninety-eight forty-six or something? Yes, your honor. Um, okay. There's no restitution, and um, so are you able to pay that uh, within thirty days? Uh, I'd like a little bit longer, if that's possible, sir. Okay. I'm on my way to Fort Myers, and I got to get a job when I get there. Okay. All right. I'll tell you. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, set him up uh, with collections court uh, that he is to pay uh, $50 a month uh, beginning. Or they don't do that anymore? Oh, okay. All right. We'll, let, we'll refer this to collections court. They'll be contacting you and then just pay whatever they th typically it's fifty dollars or a hundred dollars a month yes, and sir. just uh, and, and then you don't you don't it just it really builds up with interest and fees and all that so avoid that just pay it as quick as possible okay okay all right I think we madam clerk have we covered everything Okay, clerk tells me I did a good job. <laughs> and so we'll go to the next you, case. Uh, let's see, Jonathan Harris. Mr. Harris? Yes, sir. All right, this is a petty theft. Um, and we have six days um, credit for time served. Uh, is there a plea or arraignment? 
The offer is an adjudication of guilt, credit time served, no return to the Walmart located at 3101 West Princeton Street. And there's a cost of investigation in the amount of $146.61 to the Orlando Police Department, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Um, uh, let's swear him in, please. I do. All right. You heard uh, your attorney um, state a plea. Uh, the state attorney has accepted it. Um, and uh, so are you, is that the plea that you want to, uh, do you agree to that plea? I do, Your Honor. All right. And so um, the time served is six days. Correct me if I'm mistaken. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, you owe your public defender services of $50. Do you agree? I do. All right. And so, uh, Madam Clerk, we have the court costs are? The same. The same, 273? No, 273. Oh. Okay. So, the clerk tells me that these court costs are 323 and then we have the cost of investigation of 146.51, I believe, um, and the $50 for the public defender services. There's no restitution. Uh, and you understand uh, you have to stay away from no contact, no return. Um, all right, and then uh, we'll send this to Collections Court. What's the um, OPD? OPD. It is $146.61. 146 51 all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Next, we have Anthony White. He's mental health, Your Honor. And I will waive and enter a plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Okay. Pre-trial. Um, Division 84, April 14th at 845 in Portland 4B. Okay, thank you. Next is misdemeanor pleaables. Um, and uh, there's no active community control. Um, and so, uh, so are you, um, let's see, Destiny Ali? Yes. All right, Destiny Ali, uh, you've been arrested for a battery. Um, there's nobody in the audience. Um, she doesn't qualify for pretrial release. Um, and uh, I don't see any prior convictions of any sort. I mean, serious. Uh, nothing that's concerning to me. Um, okay. All right. And she doesn't qualify. No, for what reason? She could qualify, Yana. Oh, she is qualified? She could qualify, yes. Oh, she could qualify. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, since you do qualify, since you could qualify, and I, I'm not sure why you didn't to begin with, because I don't see anything, um, so we'll take advantage of it. And so I do put you on pretrial release. Um, and this is a battery, uh, so I <clears throat> uh, see so you uh, do not consume any illegal drugs. I uh, do not return to the scene of this incident. Uh, the person you got into, uh, the, the, the other person in this incident, um, are they family, relatives, anybody? She's my roommate, and I would need to go get the rest of my stuff. Okay, I'll take care of that. Okay, um, uh, no return to the scene of the alleged crime. Now, you can go back to the, that place, that, wherever that house is or apartment, and get your stuff. And you need to call law enforcement and just say, hey, the judge said I need to have someone go with me. Uh, they'll go with you to keep the peace. You can get your clothing, all those personal items, and then leave and you are to not go back and to live somewhere else. Uh, do not commit any further, any other crimes. 
uh, do not possess a weapon, firearm, or ammunition, do not leave the state without court permission, and you are to attend all your court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Uh, do you understand that? Yes. Okay, state, is there any, am I forgetting anything? I think the no okay. contact, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Next. So you're doing the no contact? You, you gave a number of conditions, but none of them were no contact with the victim. So. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought I said that. Uh, no contact um, with the alleged victim, witnesses, or um, there's no co-defendants, I don't think. No, Your Honor. Okay. Did I, did I forget anything else? No, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Do, when I skip over something because I'm glancing here or there and forget something, please don't hesitate to speak up. Uh, I was wrong once. Uh, when was that? <laughs> I guess not. Uh, Efren Caraballo. Uh, are you Mr. Caraballo? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And, sir, um, this is trespass on property after warning. And this is a misdemeanor pleable. Um, and yes, Your Honor. The offer is an adjudication of guilt credit time served. No return to 4138. West Oak Ridge Road, and Mr. Caraballo would like to accept. Okay. Um, without objection, uh, we'll go ahead and um, and if you'll be sworn in, please. Are you wearing one? Please. We swear or affirm by the testimony about the gifts, giving the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Let's say yes. Yes. Okay. Um, you heard that uh, was you heard that uh, you heard the plea that was announced by your attorney, uh, and do you accept that plea? Yes, sir. And do you believe it in your best interest? In other words, that's what you want to do. You hear him? Uh, it, 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 it may have a hearing. He's saying he's having a hard time hearing you, Your Honor. Okay, are are you? Uh, do I need to speak up? Does he have a hearing deficiency, or is, is it? All right. Okay, I'll I, I'll speak up oh, louder. He, he had an injury to this side of his face, so it's oh. harder to hear. Okay, uh, did you understand what your attorney said a moment ago about how we're going to take care of this case? Yes, sir. Okay, and do you believe that that's in your best interest to do that? Yes, sir. It gets you out of jail. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, and. Um, Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and adjudicate uh, and uh, that he is to, um, uh, time served is, I don't, anybody know time served? Two days. Two days. Um, and you, the charge for the public defender is $50. Do you wish to contest that or do you agree to that? The $50 for the attorney? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And then, Madam Clerk, the court cost? Two seventy-three. dollars Okay. Uh, two, two seventy-three. Attorney's fee, $50. There's no restitution. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and reduce that to a judgment. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, next we should have uh, Louis, uh, let's see, Estrell Ramos. All right. Uh, Can we reset for tomorrow, Your Honor? Okay, reset for tomorrow. Okay, we have uh, Michael Ferguson, uh, Mr. Ferguson. Um, this is a misdemeanor pleable trespass on property after warning. And the offer is an adjudication of guilt, credit time served, and no return to the McDonald's located at 5890 Sorry. South Orange Blossom Trail. Okay.
Okay, and uh, we'll swear him in, please. Raise your right hand, please. Be swear or affirm that testimony about the guest should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. All right, and you heard what your attorney just said as far as a resolution of this case. Do you accept that? Yes. And do you believe that's in your best interest? Yes. And so, um, Uh, your time served is what? Two days. Two days. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the services of your attorney uh, are $50. Uh, do you agree or do you wish to contest that? Uh, I agree. Okay. And then, um, Madam Clerk, uh, court costs are? 273 273 uh, The $50 for the public defender. Um, and... Um, We'll go ahead and uh, reduce that to a judgment. Okay, next is uh, Hiram uh, Fordham, or I uh, see Fordhams, Fordhams. Okay, uh, sir, this is a misdemeanor pleable, and you're on state probation, so um, but we don't have in front of us a. Resisting, we don't have a VOP in front of us, so it's these two charges, which is petty theft uh, and resisting an officer without violence. And so, looking at uh, his history, he's got several petty thefts, um, felonies, petty thefts. And so, all right, so we'll go ahead and uh, put $1,000 for count one and then $500 for count two. And that if he makes bond, um, that he is not to consume. Let me look and see if, I, see if there's a drug issue. Um, yeah, I read an article recently that 80% of everybody uh, booked into the jail uh, is positive for illegal drugs. Um, so it's such a such a problem. All right, uh, you are not to consume any illegal drugs uh, beginning 30 days after you are released from jail. Uh, Pretrial release will contact you and you are to be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. Uh, if you have a positive drug test uh, for illegal drugs, you will be arrested, you'll lose any bail and be back in jail. Uh, do you understand that? All right, do not return uh, to the scene of this incident. Um, do not contact the alleged victim or witnesses. Do not commit any other crimes. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state without permission. And do attend, and you are to attend all court hearings unless your attorney says uh, you don't have to. All right, thank you very much. And next we have misdemeanor pleables is Max Weber uh, Germain, Mr. Germain. Um, this is a petty theft. And um, public defender, are, are we together? Germain, there is um, no offer, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Just uh, <clears throat> All right. This is, so we have... Sudden snatching without a firearm, a petty theft, a marijuana, um, petty theft, two times. Um, and so, all right. So we'll go ahead and do a $1,000 bond. Um, and if you um, post bond, the condition of your bond is, or bail, is do not consume any illegal drugs. Uh, you are to be drug tested by pretrial release beginning 30 days after release from jail. Um, uh, random drug testing each month until your case is closed. Um, uh, do not return to the scene of the incident. Uh, do not contact any alleged victim. Uh, <clears throat> do not commit crime. Do not possess any weapons or firearms. 
and do not leave the state of Florida without per court permission, and you are to attend all court hearings uh, unless your attorney says you don't have to come. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, did, did, what did you, public defender, what did you say? Um, the offer is a withhold of adjudication, credit time served, and Mr. Gibson would like to accept the offer. Okay. <clears throat> and so we'll swear him in. Raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm? Do you swear or affirm the testimony about the issue of the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, ma'am. All right. <clears throat> you heard your attorney. The only ch change is that it would be an adjudication. Um, and time served, and Robert, then there's has, some money. Um, he only has one out-of-state charge for disorderly conduct. So I have Florida adult arrest, petty theft, possession of marijuana, not more than 20 Are you grams. At Gibson, Your Honor. Say. Gibson is the person we're on. Oh, Gib. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong one. Um, Okay, so you're Mr. Gibson? Yes, sir. Okay, sorry, I just hadn't moved the paperwork yet. Okay, uh, Mr. Gibson, uh, this is trespass, structure, or conveyance, and um, there's, there's really nothing down there. So, um, so we'll go ahead and, um, and so did you swear him in, Mr. Yes. Gibson? Okay. And so, uh, sir, uh, do you accept the plea that was outlined by your attorney? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, uh, his credit for time served? Two days. And so uh, we'll withhold adjudication. And uh, the, the, the $50 is the typical charge for your attorney. Um, and do you agree to that? Yes, sir. And so, <laughs> Madam Clerk, we have the court cost of 273. All right, and then the $50 for the public defender. Um, there's restitution; it's not an element. Uh, and so, um, and so we'll send him to Collections Court, please. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Next is. Uh, Next is Travis Holmes. Travis. Travis Holmes bonded. Oh, he's bonded. Okay, thank you. Okay, then we have Tierra. Okay, Tierra uh, Lucas. All right, uh, Miss Lucas, uh, this is a misdemeanor pleable. Trespass in an occupied conveyance. Um, is there, I, I don't yes. see. Yes, Your Honor. There is an offer of an adjudication of guilt, credit time served. Um, and Ms. Lucas would like to accept. Some. Okay. All right. Um, will I swear her in? All right, you heard your attorney uh, state a proposed uh, plea. Uh, do you accept it? Yes. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Okay. And so uh, time served? Yes, yes. two days. Two days uh, and uh, a withhold of adjudication. Uh, and uh, your Honor, the offer from the state was an adjudication. Oh, it was adjudication. Thank you. Uh, so we have adjudication, and then we have court costs of two seventy-three. The fifty dollars for the uh, public defender services, and 
and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and send that to collections court. <clears throat> Next, we have uh, Thomas uh, Yuri, Yuri uh, Mr. Mr. Yuri. Um, this is trespass on property after warning, and so. Um, do we have a, this is a misdemeanor pleable? Yes, Your Honor. The offer is an adjudication of guilt signed here, Mr. Yuri. Um, credit time served and no return to 8739 International Drive. Okay. Uh, sir, do you, ex uh, do you accept that as a, a resolution of this case? Yes, sir. Okay. I swear him in. Do you swear or affirm the testimony about the judge will be true, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay. Um, so we do have adjudication. Uh, time served, you said, was two days? Mm -hmm. Two days. Uh, and uh, the um, court cost is 273 uh, and. Uh, sir, do you accept that $50 is a reasonable fee for your attorney services? Yes, sir. All right, and the $50. Uh, and um, what do you do for a living? I'm disabled. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and reduce it to a, a judgment. Uh, no adjudication. Yes, sir. Next, we have uh, Kelvin Corn or Carn. I mean, C A R N. You bonded, Your Honor. Okay, bonded. Thank you. Okay. Next, we have traffic. Uh, James Scott. Okay, um, Mr. Scott, you've been arrested for four counts of failure to appear. Um, in, did uh, the did that a, judge give him a bond? Yes, Your Honor, but there is an offer. Um, on 2021 MM 474 AW, the offer is an adjudication of guilt, uh, credit time served. Um, on 2021 CT 623 AO, um, I would just ask that you stay the $1,000 bond. Um, he's currently um, at the last step of getting his driver's license. And in 2021 MM 1142 AO, the offer is a withhold credit time served. Um, and Mr. Scott would like to accept. Okay, what about the underlying case, or was this a ticket? This a ticket. So in 2021 MM 474AW, that is a petty theft. In 2021 MM 1142AO, there is a petty theft and a resisting. And then in 2021 CT 623AO, it is a driving while license suspended. Okay, uh, what do we do with the underlying case? That's what we're resolving today, Your Honor, would be the underlying case. And the failure to failure of defendant to appear? No, Your Honor. The state generally does not file on the failures to de, to appear. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, we'll go ahead and, sir, uh, has he been sworn in? Okay, go ahead and be sworn in, sir. Raise your hand. Really heard you. Okay, you heard your attorney outline uh, the resolution of these cases. Uh, do you accept that? Yes, sir. All right, and so um, um, uh, time served is? On which case? So there's two 2021 MM 474 AW. 474, he has two days. And in 2021, MM1142AO. 
He has seven days. Seven zero? Seven. seven. Oh, seven. Okay. All right. And, sir, do you agree that um, to the charge of $50, and we'll do it for the entire transaction, so we'll just put $50 on the first one, um, and then court costs, and, and um, so we have our court costs of 273 and then uh, the $50, like I said, and we'll send it to collections court. So on 2021 MM 474AW, it is an adjudication. And then in 2021 MM 1142AO, it is a withhold. <clears throat> These papers, are they something you keep or can I write on them? Now, after these, is there another group cases after this? Okay, uh, next we have uh, Jean Bar Bar Bartholomew, Bartholomew, uh, something, am I saying it correctly? Bartholomew. Okay, very good. All right, this is a failure to appear, um, and so what's the underlying case? What are we going to do with this? It's a possession of you to loan, Your Honor. Um, it looks as though the judge did give him a bond of $1,000. You just I mean, keep the bond at $1,000. Okay, all right, we'll leave the bond at $1,000, and... And then, uh, sir, you are not to consume any um, illegal drugs. Uh, do not return to the scene of the incident. Do not contact the alleged victim. Uh, uh, do, do not commit any crimes. Uh, do not possess a firearms or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida. And you are required to attend all court hearings unless excused. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have uh, Chastity uh, Ben Ben Cosme. All right, and this is um, this is credit card. This is a felony credit card theft, possession with intent to sell, fraudulent use of credit cards, fraudulent use of personal identification, um, and. Uh, you do not qualify for pretrial release, but then when I look down, you do have two prior petty thefts. And your honor, I would ask that you stay the bond set by the judge and the warrant. Um, I believe he set it at a thousand on count one, five hundred on count two, and a thousand on count three. All right. Uh, state, do you agree? No objection, your honor. Okay, I will leave it as is. Um, and the conditions of your release are. Um, is uh, do not consume any illegal drugs, do not return to the scene of any of these incidents, uh, do not contact any alleged victims or witnesses um, or co-defendants, do not commit a crime, do not possess a firearm or, or weapon or ammunition, and do not leave the state without permission uh, from the court, and you are to attend all court hearings unless excused by the court. Thank you. And by your attorney, I meant. Thank you. What was the bond amount? 1,000 on count one, 500 on count two, and 1,000 on count three. Okay. Next, we have Thomas Conyers. Behave, Your Honor. I will waive the appearance, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, we have um, possession. This is a felony. Possession of drug. Pardon me. Yeah, possession of cocaine. So we'll go ahead and do that as a thousand. Possession of paraphernalia is five hundred. Par paraphernalia a second time five hundred. Attached tag or license plate to an uns 
unassigned vehicle, 250, motor vehicle registration, no motor vehicle registration, 250. Um, and then um, this, uh, do not consume any illegal drugs, um, and do not return to the scene of the crime, um, do not do not contact the alleged victim or witnesses. Uh, do not commit a, a, a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearms or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without permission. Uh, you are to attend all court hearings. Um, and so those are to be put on the order. Next, we have Andrew uh, Kirby, C-U-R-B-Y, Mr. Kirby. Uh, this is um, burglary of a dwelling with damage, grand theft of a third, grand theft third degree, and criminal mischief. Uh, and then when I look down, you have uh, um, burglary, dwelling, petty theft, Florida convictions, uh, possession of drug paraphernalia, um, and Your Honor, and here, there, this is also a warrant. Um, the judge signing the warrant set the bonds already, and I just ask that you stay the bonds. Um, on count one, he set it at 3500 On count two, he set it at 1500 And on count three, he set it at 1000 All right. Uh, stay, do you agree? Your Honor, this is a warrant, uh, so you can stay the bonds or you can use your discretion. Right. No, uh, we'll leave it. Um, the uh, do not consume uh, conditions of your bail are do not consume any illegal drugs, do not return to the scene of any, uh, if there's a scene of these incidents, do not contact the alleged victim or witnesses or co-defendants, do not commit a crime, do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition, do not leave the state of Florida without court permission, and you are to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. All right, next. Okay, next is uh, Malik David. Uh, are you Mr. David? Yeah. All right, Mr. David, this is attempted burglary of a conveyance. Uh, and um, you see, Florida arrests are none, out of state, none. Um, did we verify his fingerprints? Because it's a little unusual in my experience, burglary of a conveyance and then not have a bunch of history. So did we check him? Um, yes, yes, Your Honor. His fingerprints cleared. And so that's okay. okay. And because he has no history, Your Honor, this is his first um, offense. Um, I would ask for an ROR. He's been here for over a year. Um, his mom also lives here. Um, do you have any other family who resides here? Okay. And his cousin also stays here, grandma, stepfather. So I would just ask for an ROR in this case. Where are you going to school? All right, we'll go ahead and set a bond at $250, $250. Um, you are not to consume any illegal drugs. You are not to return to the scene of the alleged incident. Uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without uh, court permission and you are to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Thank you. Next is uh, Stefan uh, Everson, uh, Mr. Everson. Uh, this is attempted burglary of a conveyance. Um, and uh, let's see, out of, let's see, Florida, none. Out of state, none. Out of state arrest. Um, some resisting uh, out of state. Uh, your Honor. Okay. All right. Um, 
and then this is this is a felony attempted burglary of a conveyance um, and so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put a bond of a thousand dollars and um, do not consume any illegal drugs mm -hmm. I didn't see any drugs there which Well, there is a controlled substance, but all right. Um, uh, do not return to the scene of the alleged crime. Uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses. Do not commit a crime. Uh, do not possess a weapon, firearm, or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without uh, court permission. And you are required to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. All right, thank you. Your Honor? Uh, Your Honor. Yes. Um, you said no contact with um, victims or witnesses, but you didn't say co-defendant, and he actually does have a co-defendant in this case. He does have? Yes, Your Honor. Oh. It was the defendant before him. Oh, okay. And, okay, the, um, yeah, or co-defendants. Thank you. Every time I, when I skip it, there's always a co-defendant. <laughs> <laughs> and so thank you for catching that. Um, that, that helps us all do our job properly, and so thank you very much. Okay, uh, looks like we uh, see. Are you um, Samuel Hamilton? Yes, sir. And may I please find out why am I arrested? I didn't. I'm. I'm really been confused since they arrested me. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Your Honor, just for your uh, knowledge, he has been deemed incompetent um, by a court to proceed in both of his out on bond cases. Um, so I'd ask that you take no action on the out on bond. Okay, and then um, okay, so he uh, he has been found to be incompetent. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, all right. So we'll we won't touch those then. Um, the you know this sort of like back to the original discussion we had about a half hour ago. Um, the um, but then I look at his history and it's you know it's building and he's only a young guy, um, so anyway, um, what any can, any pre uh, mental health services pre trial release or public defender. So anything available? No, he's been deemed incompetent since 2018, Your Honor. Yeah. Um, All right. So we'll go ahead and and do the the do a bond, I guess. Um, Excuse me, Your Honor. Can I ask a question? Well, you need to ask your lawyer. <coughs> Ms. George, it appears to be an incident from November 17th of 2021. Uh, victim is Tyera Small. It's from last year, so it's a warrant. What is, what is a warrant for last year? Battery on a... Was what was her name? T-Y-E-R-A. Okay, thank you. I don't even know who said what. what. I don't okay, know what call your attorney. They'll get you the information you need. But they revoked my bond on my no. other No, no. On my other case that I was out on bond for. No. What's going on? Oh. Can you set the bond, Your Honor, on his uh, We'll do a bond of $500. All right. Well, what about my and uh, he is to not consume any illegal drugs, not to return to the scene, uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants, do not commit a crime, do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition, do not leave the state of Florida without court permission, and you are required to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Uh, thank you. That's it. You're good. You can just Okay, next is Mr. Hogan. Or I, I, let's see, Dara Monte Hogan. 
All right, Mr. Hogan, this is driving while license suspended or revoked, habitual offender, uh, IA Judge Baker, as a battery on a person 65. So, um, All right, so we'll revoke that and and put a thousand dollar bond there, and uh, all other conditions remaining the same. And driving or license suspended or revoked is five hundred dollars. Uh, no, that's a felony, so we'll go ahead and do it as a thousand dollars there. So, um, and then. Um, Looking at uh, your background, this, I don't see anything that's, that would require um, drug testing. So I do order you not to consume any illegal drugs. Do not return to the scene of the alleged uh, crime. Do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without court permission, and you are required to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> then we have uh, Leslie Lewis. Uh, Mr. Lewis, um, the, this first appearance is the out on bond. See the notes. Um, out on bond. And so... Uh, so we'll go ahead and this is possession of cannabis intent to sell. So we'll revoke the other bonds. And um, do a uh, state, can you state or clerk, um, what were the original bond amounts? I say, do I, is it on here somewhere that I'm not seeing? No. And your honor, I ask that you not appoint us. He has private counsel on the out on bonds. Okay. Yeah, this, no, no, this is, it says out on bond once and twice, the two different cases. State, do you see? I'm looking, Your Honor. I generally have to look that information up. Oh, the clerk just handed it to me. Oh. Um, okay. Um, let's see, we have um, possession of cannabis with intent to sell. And then he's, uh, so it was 5000 to begin with, so we'll make it 10000 And then uh, count two, possession of cannabis, uh, would be $1,000. And then uh, we're back to um, selling of cannabis, so we'll go ahead and make that $10,000. Um, and so then... Uh, uh, sir, uh, those that's your your bond on your new case is ten thousand, and then I've spoken to the other two, and then on all cases, um, he is not to consume any illegal drugs, um, uh, because of his drug um, obvious drug situation. Um, I order that pretrial release to randomly drug test him, beginning thirty days after release from jail, uh, each month until. Uh, all three cases are closed, and if you test positive, you'll be back in jail, and you'll lose those bonds, and they'll be doubled again. Uh, do not return to the scene of the alleged crime. Do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Uh, your attorney can do that. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without court permission. You are to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. All right, thank you. I'm sorry. Your Honor, where did, did you address the 2020 case and the out on bond case? Did I miss? Oh, okay. Okay, this is possession of eat alone or something like that, or whatever that is. Um, so the original bond was uh, 2000 so we'll go ahead and make that 5000 
And did I cover everything? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, where's your phone? Okay, next we have Leslie Lewis. We just did him. Oh, just a minute. Let me get the paperwork. Um, oh, that's page two. Okay, that's the second page. All right, now we have uh, Haley uh, Liptak, uh, Mr. Liptak. Um, all right, this is burglary of a structure, no. trespass other than a, st a structure. Um, and um, Florida arrest, yes, petty theft. It's a female, Your Honor. Say again. Um, she's a female. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. Um, Miss Liptak, um, okay, possession of paraphernalia, etc. Okay, the um, burglary of a structure. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make that $2,500 and trespass other than a structure. We'll go ahead and do it at $1,000. Um, she is to not consume, the conditions of her bail are do not consume any illegal drugs um, beginning 30 days after your release from jail. Uh, the pretrial release office will contact you and you are to be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. If you test positive for illegal drugs, then you will be arrested, lose this bail, and be back in jail. Additionally, you are not to return to the scene of the alleged crime. Do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Your attorney can do that. Uh, do not commit a crime. Do not possess a firearm or weapon or ammunition. Uh, do not leave the state of Florida without court permission. You are required to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Right, thank you. Is that in all three? No, it's um, for random drug screens. Okay, next we have uh, Samuel Maldonado. Uh, Mr. Maldonado, this is uh, failure of defendant to appear. Uh, that is a crime. And so, uh, what do we have? A, do those two charges have bail? No, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, was it zero, or do I need to? No, Your Honor. It says at zero, and it just stays at zero until okay. he goes before that judge. All right. Okay. We will not touch that. Just he'll be. You'll go in front of the judge that issued that. Next, we have. Uh, let's see, Jonathan Massey. Let's see, Massey. Yes, sir. Are you Massey? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. You have resisting an officer. You, this is a felonies. Resisting an officer without violence, possession of meth with intent, possession of heroin with intent, um, possession of drug paraphernalia, uh, possession of a concealed weapon, a firearm by a convicted felon, uh, and then a second time, and then possession of a firearm with altered serial numbers possession of controlled substance, and carrying a concealed firearm. Um, and so starting at the top, um, resisting an officer without, without violence uh, is $500. Uh, possession of meth uh, with intent to sell. Is that an F2 uh, or 1 or 3? Uh, one moment, Your Honor. F2, Your Honor. F2, okay. All right, uh, we'll do 10,000. Possession of heroin with intent to sell is 10,000. Possession of drug paraphernalia, we'll do 1,000. Possession of firearm by a convicted felon, 20,000. Uh, second possession uh, by a convicted felon is another 20,000. 
an altered firearm is 10,000, possession of controlled substance be 1,000, carrying a concealed firearm, uh, 20,000. Um, and then uh, if you... Your Honor, uh, I believe one of the possessions of a concealed weapon, I believe that's ammunition. I'd ask that you... Um, that's being what? Ammunition, not... Uh, there was only one... Oh, possession. ammunition. Yes, so I'd ask that you lower that bond amount because okay. they already charged him for the same weapon. It's only one gun. They, they're charging him with all of those. So I just ask that for the ammunition and the guns be reduced. Okay, all right, and so, um, all right, so we'll go, so if that's just ammunition, we'll go ahead and do it at 5,000, and that's the second one. Okay. What is um, no, they already have ammo listed there. If you look at the face sheet, what he's leaning off. All right, and that's a weapon of some sort. That's the one you want me to carry. Because mm -hmm. it's supposed to be ammo. For some reason, on the face sheet, it's saying possession of a concealed weapon firearm twice. Oh, I see. see right. Oh, okay, and he's looking at the face sheet. No, that's different. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm looking at my face sheet. Which, which the, count is that one? The issue is the face sheet doesn't quite match up with what's on the warrant. Can I count five? Yep. Is that the possession of a concealed weapon? Because there should be two. Possession on count five is possession of ammo. Count six is the possession with an altered firearm and then count... Okay. So possession of ammo is the five thousand dollar bond. Okay. Okay, and then um, do not consume any illegal drugs, and do not return to the scene. Do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, co-defendants. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon, firearm, or ammunition. Do not leave the state without court permission, you are required to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. All right, thank you. Ms. Hammer, do you have... Next, we have Sean... Uh, Does he have nine counts? I see, Moonis? Monus. Mon Monus, okay. Uh, this is possession of meth um, and so the... Um, you did you say a moment ago that that was an F two? Is, the, 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 is it a possession of meth? No, Your Honor. Um, simple possession is going to be an F three. It F3. bumps it up to an F two if it's trafficking. Okay. Uh, at this, so we'll go ahead and um, if that's an F three, we'll go ahead and make it uh, twenty five hundred dollars, um, and. So, so that's the amount of money is $2,500. Do not consume, conditions of bail are, do not consume illegal drugs um, uh, beginning 30 days after your release from jail. The pretrial release office will contact you and you are to be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. If you test positive for illegal drugs, then you'll be arrested, you'll lose your bail, and you'll be back in jail. Uh, do not return to the scene of the alleged crime. Um, uh, do not uh, contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Mm -hmm. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida Your without Honor, court permission. I'm yes, ma'am. As far as leaving, he does not reside here. He's only here for vacation. He lives in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I'd ask that you allow him to return to Cleveland as long as he makes all his court dates and stays in contact with his attorney. Okay. All right. Uh, he can uh, leave the state of Florida to reside in Ohio, um, provided that uh, he's, you stay in touch with your attorney, uh, public defender or private, whatever, uh, and uh, that you 
make yourself available uh, to come back to court. Now, we often try to do things by video, uh, uh, Zoom, that sort of thing. So, uh, uh, so we try not to have you come back to court until, until absolutely necessary. So, uh, access to a computer if need be, Your Honor. Just let the okay. Know. All right. Well, very good. Uh, did I touch everything? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, Okay, next we should have Maria Ortiz. So you got to call a bell bond and see what they'll do. Okay, Ms. Ortiz, um, you are, this is a felony, possession of cocaine, um, paraffin, drug paraphernalia, concealing a weapon. Um, I think that's a firearm. Can you? Your Honor. It isn't, is no, it? It was a machete. Oh, the machete. Yeah, yes. I remember reading. Okay, yeah, I remember a machete one. Okay. Um, I think she had it, but she wasn't threatening anybody with it. it no, Your Honor, it was in a car. It was just in between the seat. It, it, that's why both of them were charged with it. They both had access to it. Yeah, that's what I sort of remember. Okay. All right, and... Um, Looking at your history, I don't see anything. Um, all right. Um, possession of cocaine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that as $1,000. Possession of drug paraphernalia, 500 Possession of a concealed weapon. Um, um, but, you know, I've always sort of thought that you would have to be used in some manner to make, because a lot of people have machetes. I mean, a lot of workers, if you're, if you're a worker, you usually, and especially around trees and things. Um, um, so, Your Honor, um, she, she does qualify for pretrial release, given that she has um, no convictions on her record. Um, I would ask for pretrial release. Okay. All right, I, I'm okay with that, and if the state is okay. No, um, Your Honor. All right, I'll, we'll do pretrial release, which won't cost you money, but, um, Ms. Ortiz, um, so we can do pretrial release, but uh, I do want you to not consume any illegal drugs uh, beginning 30 days after you are released from jail. Uh, the pretrial release office will contact you and you are to be randomly drug tested each month uh, until your case is closed. If you test positive for illegal drugs, um, uh, then you will be arrested, lose your bail, and you'll be back in jail. Uh, do you understand that? Yes. All right. And so do not return to the scene of the alleged crime. Do not commit any alleged do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Do not commit a, a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearms or ammunition. Um, so I think it's just better to keep that machete uh, in the trunk. If you ever need it for working or uh, that sort of thing, you can get it out of the trunk. But keeping it next to you... Um, in this kind of situation will get you arrested because uh, it just looks scary. Um, okay, you are to attend. Uh, you're not to leave the state of Florida without court permission. You are to attend your court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Um, all right, thank you very much. Okay, next we have Glenn Osteen. Um, Mr. Osteen? No, I, I couldn't hear. Oh, behavior, okay, we'll reset for tomorrow. No, I will waive the appearance, Your Honor. Okay, all right. Uh, this is burglary of a structure, uh, trespass, uh, other than a structure. And then looking, he has a robbery, no firearm, uh, possession of meth, uh, drug paraphernalia, Possession of cannabis, etc. Um, 
And so um, we'll go ahead and the burglary of a structure, uh, we'll make that $2,500 and trespass other than a structure, I will make that $1,000. And then um, I do order that he do not consume illegal drugs beginning 30 days after he's released. I want pretrial release to contact him uh, to come in and be randomly drug tested each month until the case is closed. Um, additionally, uh, do not return to the scene of the alleged crime. Do not contact the alleged victim, witness, or co-defendants. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without court permission. And uh, he, is a t he is required to attend all court hearings unless excused by his attorney. All right, thank you. Next, we have uh, Andre Roland. Okay. Next, we have An Antoon Singleton. And I will waive the appearance, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, indecent exposure, and then he has a long history. <coughs> it's a felony, so we'll go ahead and... and <coughs> And then we have uh, a note, uh, failure of sex offender to report. Uh, so we'll revoke that and, um, and we'll put that at $10,000. And then indecent exposure of sexual organs, we'll put that at $10,000. And then possession of cocaine, 1000 Your Honor, he has two counts on the out on bond. Oh, it does? Okay. Yeah, do you have that? Okay, the clerk just handed it to me. Let's see. Bond amount is NA. ROR? Okay. So uh, you said there was two counts? Yes, there's two counts. Okay, and well, let's see. Let's see. I'm, On one count, you put... 10,000, then the other count is? Well, see, the right, uh, possession of cocaine would be 1,000. No, on the out on bond. On the out on, on, on this, bond? On this one, it shows failure of sex offender to report temporary transient failure of sex offender. So it was two counts? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And so? Ask that you set both at 5,000, Your Honor. That would be the all right, we'll do both at 5,000. <clears> okay, then we have um, Brandon Terry. Brandon Terry. Uh, okay, were you going to say something? Yes, Your Honor. Um, after you read the charge, I was going to make a comment as far as bond is concerned. Oh, okay. We have a con carrying a concealed firearm. And so that was, you're going to comment on that? Yes, Your Honor. Um, in this particular case, I would ask for um, pretrial release. He is prior military. He does reside in Georgia where he does not need a concealed weapons license, which is what he explained to the officer. He did not know he needed a concealed weapons license here in Florida. Um, and because of that, I would ask for pretrial release. Okay, so this isn't... Uh a crime involved this is that he just had it in his car uh, he was carrying it at um i believe a a park maybe was it a disney park what was it oh uh, we was about to go get a little while a scooter she carry we walk that way up what, but was it at a park i guess so parking lot for it was disneyland. at a, it was at disneyland and so he had his weapon someone told the officers he had a weapon on him um, and he explained to the officers he's from Georgia. He did not know he needed a concealed weapons license here because in Georgia you do not need a concealed weapons um, permit. All you need is um, a license to carry, and he does have a license to carry, Your Honor. It, you know, uh, th that's ridiculous on your part. Um, it really is. I mean, you, you know, you're a mature man. Uh, you should know that every state... Uh, has serious gun laws, and 
that you before you would go to any other state, you should look it up and know it. And there's plenty of good information online. Uh, and for you to, and especially to take it to Disney World, I mean, how ridiculous is that? Um, he, again, Your Honor, he's prior military. He doesn't. Well, um, okay, I, I, I will give you uh, some benefits of the doubt. I'm former military myself. And, and so as two military guys, uh, we know how dangerous those things are and how careful you have to be uh, with weapons. And so uh, I'm annoyed that you were not more careful. Uh, but my annoyance isn't going to affect my thought about the bond. Um, it's just that I just want to tell you I'm disappointed that you being a former military uh, to treat that so casual. Now, in Texas, I think they have like open carry and they, they carry guns to church and, and uh, if the preacher talks too long, they shoot him or something. I don't know what they do in Texas. Um, but it's just crazy. Uh, and these laws and every And we are 50 states. We are not one nation in the sense of one body of law. We're 50 states with 50 different laws. And I like that. That's good. Um, and so uh, I'm just making the point. Do not leave Georgia with your weapon unless you've complied with uh, the gun things. And don't have it in your car. Uh, you can't cross the line uh, without going into different laws. Um, and so, um, since this was not used in any kind of criminal activity, and um, it's more just dumbness on your part, um, uh, we'll go ahead and do pretrial release. Uh, and, um, and, um, can return to Georgia, Your Honor. Yeah, and so, um, and so, okay, so let me look at these conditions of release then, because they really, um, that, um, in this, for the state of Florida, as part of your release, restricted to the state of Florida, you are not to possess a weapon, firearms, or ammunition, um, uh, while this case is open. And then if you come to Florida for any reason, you need to apply and follow the Florida law. Because um, you can have two, you know, a Georgia permit, a no permit in Georgia. And then, but if you come to Florida for, for family or friends, uh, get, follow the Florida per, uh, permit laws. We have laws, but are stricter than Georgia, um, and and so, so anyway, uh, so don't come back to Florida with any weapon unless you've made sure everything is good, and so you can be released later today, and you can. Oh, matter, of, I, I think I may have skipped over it. Uh, he can return to Georgia, uh, and so you can appear probably by phone, um, and. Uh, when, if, if and when we need you in person, uh, you come down and take care of it. Um, all right, I think all right, Yara, so enough PTR, said. PTR, no weapons, and he can go back to Georgia. Yep. All right, thank and, you. And go to Georgia, but without a gun. No, so you can't have a, you can't have any gun. You know, I saw where, like, the airport. The, the airport has had, like, last year, it was like almost 400 guns. Uh, I mean, don't, I mean, and these people are flying, and they have been in the carry-on and everything. It's just ridiculous. Um, anyway. Um, and next, uh, Christina Thurman. Okay. And I will waive the appearance, Your Honor. All right. This is aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Uh, and um, she's mental health. I would just ask that she be screened for mental health pretrial release, Your Honor. And in the alternative, I would just ask that you set a bond. Okay. She... What was the weapon? A knife, Your Honor. Okay. Um, yeah, the advantage of a knife is that, not the advantage, but 
the benefit of a knife is that you hurt one person. Uh, you don't sh kill 50 people with uh, one of these automatic rifles. Um, anyway. Um, <clears throat> Aggravated battery, but this is a F F2 or a 1? F2, Your Honor. F2? Okay. All right. Um, yeah. We're, we're looking at that she doesn't have history, I, I, I have to, so I'll do $2,500 on the aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, and then criminal mischief will do $500. Um, and then um, uh, she is to not consume any uh, special condition, not special, but con the normal conditions are uh, do not consume illegal drugs, do not return to the scene of the alleged crime, uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants, do not commit a crime, do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition, do not leave the state. Um, without court permission, and uh, they are required to attend all court hearings unless excused. Okay. Your Honor, uh, I apologize. So, defense asked for mental health pretrial release. If she does not qualify, what are the bonds? I don't think he placed her on mental health pretrial. No, I didn't. Oh. No. No. It, um... Okay. Wait, wait. So there is no mental health pretrial release. It's just bond. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the, it's oh the twenty five and the five hundred. Okay, thank you. Okay, and then <clears throat> and then we have. Um, let's see. Are you Mr. Wilkerson? Yes, sir. All right, Mr. Wilkerson. This is grand theft, third degree of a motor vehicle, and um, you do have. History um, that is concerning, um, and so uh, I see first appearance detainer I A judge possession of meth controlled out on R O R. All right, <clears throat> we'll revoke the R O R. Your Honor, I yes. don't know that you've taken no action. He was arrested January fourth of twenty twenty, and there has been. Um, no filing. Um, the state has not filed on this case as of today. That is I correct. Okay. All right. Well, if they're not moving on it, um, I, I won't move on it either. Um, okay. I uh, just becoming stale, like my toast this morning. Um, okay. Then um, that's a grand theft, third degree motor vehicle. Uh, we'll go ahead and do twenty five hundred dollars. <clears throat> and uh, you are not to consume any illegal drugs uh, beginning 30 days after you're released from jail. Uh, the pretrial release office will contact you, and you are to be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. Uh, if you are positive for illegal drugs, then you will be arrested, lose your bail, and be back in jail. Additionally, do not return to the scene of the alleged incident. Uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Do not commit a, a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Uh, do not leave the state of Florida without permission. Uh, you are to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, then we have Joshua Williams. Uh, Mr. Williams, this is a, a felony possession, third degree of a motor vehicle, grand theft of a motor vehicle, uh, possession of meth, and then drug paraphernalia. Uh, I see drug issues in your background. And so uh, grand theft of a motor vehicle will do a $2,500. Uh, possession of meth uh, is $1,000. Possession of paraphernalia is $500. Um, and uh, you are not, uh, conditions of bail are, you do not consume illegal drugs uh, beginning 30 days after you are released from jail, 
the pretrial release office will contact you and you are to be randomly drug tested each month until your case is closed. Uh, if you are tested positive for illegal drugs, then you will be arrested, lose your bail, and be back in jail. Do you understand that? Sure. All right. Additionally, do not return to the scene of the alleged incident. Uh, do not contact the alleged victim, witnesses, or co-defendants. Your attorney can do that. Do not commit a crime. Do not possess a weapon or firearms or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without court permission. And you are to attend all court hearings unless excused by your attorney. Um, you understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Do I need to do this? Good afternoon. This is Dalia Romero, Spanish interpreter on the line, already sworn in today. All right. Thank you very much. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we don't have any witnesses. We just have a defendant, um, one or more defendants, and so it's a, a little easier. Okay, this, you, Honor. this is Victor Coronado. I'll spell it C-O-R-O-N-A-D-O. -O. Victor Coronado. And uh, Madam Clerk, what's the case number? Can't hear. Um, Madam Interpreter, are you connected to the headset? Yes, I am. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, tell the uh, defendant that uh, he's. This is a traffic case. Failure of a defendant failure to appear in court um, after being told to appear. And Your Honor, the offer from the state is a withhold of adjudication, credit, time served, and court cost. And Mr. Cord, is it Cordona? Cardona. I don't know. Cornada would like to accept, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what is the offer? A withhold of adjudication of guilt and credit time served. Credit for time served, in other words, being in jail, and then uh, money. Yes, okay, one day in jail. And so, uh, sir, do you agree with, uh, with, with that sentence? Yes, that's fine. All right. And Madam Clerk, can we swear him in? Yes, the truth. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, you have... Uh, do you you heard what the plea is, and do you accept it? Uh, go ahead, uh, translator. Did you did he say something? He's talking in the headset, Your Honor. Oh. I repeated. I repeated the offer to him, Your Honor. Okay, and does he accept it? I'm sorry, what is the offer? Okay, it's a withhold of adjudication. In other words, he won't be convicted. Uh, and then uh, time served and some money.
Sí, me gustaría, pero no sé cuánto es, perdone. Yes, but I do not know how much that would be. Okay, I'm going to tell him. All right, tell him uh, that we have time served, and did you get that already? Time served is what? Two, two days? Well, one day. One day. And, um, all right, and your, the services of the Public Defender's Office is uh, $50. Uh, do you agree? How would I be able to get the money? Yeah, and, uh, I'll take care of that. I'll, t I'll tell him in a moment. So do you, does he agree to pay the $50 to the public defender's office? Okay. Uh, now, yes. so court cost is 273 Madam Clerk? I don't know. This uh, the, um, I think... I think, I see, is this a moving by? Is, leaving the scene. This okay. is. Is it leaving the okay, scene? Okay, failure of a tenant to appear. But this is a crime. Um, but we're taking care of the underlying charge. That's correct, Your Honor. Again, the state doesn't really file on failures okay. to appear. All right, so, um, in, and what was the uh, underlying charge? Leaving the scene, Your Honor. Leaving the scene. All right, that would be a moving violation. Uh, so we do uh, withhold $164 is the court cost, $33 is cost of investigation. Um, and, uh, sir, um, are you working? Do you work? No, senor. Why not? What do you do? How do you support no. yourself? I do odd jobs. Okay. All right. I'm going to send this money to collections court, and they will contact you. And what that is is a, a payment system in the court system. And so I want you to pay what they tell you to pay each month. It's typically $20, $15. It's a very small amount. Pay it and be done with it. Okay. Perfect, that's fine. Now, uh, I want you, when you're released from jail, to go to the uh, main courthouse or just any courthouse? Your Honor, I would just ask that you give him uh, six months to pay the court costs. If he cannot afford to pay the court costs, that he goes to the clerk and set up a payment plan arrangement. Well, so you give him if the time. He doesn't do any of that, doesn't pay and doesn't go to the clerk's office. What happens? It, he would, his driver's license could be suspended, Your Honor. Okay, now. All right. Um, so I tell you, um, okay, I want you to pay uh, $25 a month beginning in April. Uh, and to pay $25 a month each month to the court system. If you don't pay that, uh, then your license and registration will be suspended. Okay. Uh, and so pay the $25 to the courthouse and contact them as to how, how and where to pay it. Um, and so that's what I want you to do. Get this done. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Next is Benjamin uh, Perez uh, Dion Cio. Okay. He is Benjamin. And um, Your Honor, you're... this is not Benjamin. Uh, I'm sorry. Say again. This is not Benjamin. Um, Ben are you Gerard Benjamin? Gerardo is a, I can't say the last name. Uh, 
Perez. Benjamin Perez, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right, sir, you are in jail because of a traffic situation. It's a DUI, unlawful blood alcohol. Uh, and you're operating a motor vehicle without a valid license. So state, help me with this. Oh, which one, Your Honor? So the <clears throat> Adam Vaughn. Yes, Your Honor. Is that, uh, have you ever done anything with it? Or are you going to do anything with it? Uh, let me check it again. I apologize. It appears that the violation occurred on February 6th, Your Honor. That's only last, that's last month. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I don't believe he has an attorney on that case, Your Honor. So I just ask that you appoint the public defender for him. Okay, we'll appoint the public defender for the out on bond and then the new charge. So, um, and so, what is the bond amount that he was out on? Does anybody know? Okay, it says he's out on bond at, for, it was a $500 bond. Um, and so, uh, we'll revoke it. Uh, we'll revoke it and make it $1,000. And then, um, DUI, the new DUI charge, uh, we'll do that at $500. And, uh, sir, uh, you are to not consume any illegal drugs or you're not to violate the law, which would be driving and drink and drinking. Uh, do not possess a weapon or firearm or ammunition. Do not leave the state of Florida without court permission. And you are to attend any court hearings. Um, and uh, like I said, n do not consume any illegal drugs. All right, thank you. Next, we have uh, jo uh, Jose uh, Rodriguez Cortez. Ronald, what was the name again? Uh, this is uh, Jose Rodriguez Cortez. Oh, he's in the hospital. <clears throat> Okay, I'll go ahead and reset for 24 hours from release to the hospital, Your Honor. Okay. And then, uh, are you um, uh, Amid uh, Mersoli? Is usted Amid Mersolis? Oh, Your Honor. This is Gerardo Girasoles. Gerardo Girasoles. I'm I'm confused. Can someone help me? Okay, never mind. I just got the paperwork. Um, hey, this should be. Hey, this should be uh, Gerardo uh, Isa. Let's see. Are you, how do you say your last name? Isaguirre Solis. Isaguirre Solis. Isaguirre Solis. Okay, and um, all right, sir, you're charged with possession of a concealed weapon and motor vehicle, no motor vehicle registration, moving, 
traffic violation, revocation of, I don't know what that is, EQUIV? It's just um, driving while license suspended or revoked, Your Honor. And a, and a, a tag, improper tag. Yes, Your Honor. Um, it, all right, so possession of a weapon, uh, can someone explain that to me? It's the machete, Your Honor. It's the, I believe this is the co-defendant. It's the, it's the machete. Oh, yes. Okay. It's the same in the vehicle. They had the machete in the side of the um, seat. So it's, it's the co-defendant, Your Honor. All right. Now, like I told the co-defendant, uh, the machete, keep it in the trunk. Uh, don't keep it in between the seats uh, because it's too easily uh, interpreted as being a weapon. And if a policeman walks up and he sees a machete, uh, he's liable to draw his gun and, and who knows what. And so uh, something like that, you wouldn't keep a gun on the, on the, on the front seat. Uh, and a machete, a lot of people, um, I grew up with machetes in Miami because we had a lot of workers uh, who worked the field. So I know I'm familiar with machetes and how they are a, just a normal work tool and not necessarily a weapon. Um, and so, um, all right. The so, Your Honor, um, as far as the possession of a concealed weapon, I'd ask that you set a bond on that case. Um, and then as to the uh, driving offenses, I don't have the case number, but the no motor vehicle registration, the driving while license suspended, and the attaching a tag um, unassigned. He offers a withhold of adjudication, credit for the time he's already spent in jail, and the court costs. Okay. All right. On the possession of concealed weapon, um, based on the facts that I know about this case, we'll do a $500 bond. Um, and then the motor vehicle... Um, registration uh, so that each each of the others will be um, uh, withhold of adjudication and uh, court costs and then we'll put uh, a five hundred dollars the fifty dollar court cost for the public defender on the first one so sir do you agree to plea those out everything out other than the machete case Yes. Okay. All right. And so, um, time served on everything but the machete case? Yes, two days. Two days. Okay. All right. So, and, um, all right. So, we'll go ahead and do that. And, and you agree to pay the $50 for the attorney on, uh, for the services of being in court today? Yes. All right, and so uh, we'll go ahead and and we'll go ahead and do the cost, uh, the court cost. Um, let's see, motor vehicle. Do you, do you know what the court cost? Three hundred one. Three hundred one. Clerk tells me, and then the fifty dollars for the public defender, um, and um, and then. Um, And then, um, what was it? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The interpreter missed the time to pay, amount of time to pay. I'm no. sorry. Yeah, I want him to pay $25 a month beginning um, um, May 1st and on the first of each month thereafter to the courthouse and to contact the clerk's office as to how to do it. So pay it. And that way you get all the money paid. Um, so pay $25 a month beginning May, April, May. That gives you time uh, to resolve most of these issues. Okay. Um, is there any, we do have one more prisoner. So is, is, do we need the translator for him? We have two more, Your Honor. Oh, we have two more. Okay. Okay. Then, um, what about the uh, Ahmed uh, Mersali? He's messed up, Your Honor. <coughs> OK. 
Ahmed Mursuli. Okay, and who is this gentleman? Sí, España. Sí. Ahmed Mursuli. Okay. Ahmed Mursuli. Okay, you are in jail uh, for a battery, so a battery which is hitting somebody, first degree misdemeanor. Uh, do we have an offer? No, Your Honor, um, we will enter a plea of not guilty. Okay, uh, we'll enter a plea of uh, not guilty. And uh, we will be in Division 50 May 2nd at 9 o'clock in Court Rock. All right, all right, May 2nd is your next court date. All right, thank you very much. Next is. Uh, Yens, Y E A N S, uh, Custa, C U E S T A. What is this? Who was the last person on the arraignment? Oh, hey, this is order. Janice Cuesta. De declaring defendant indigent and appointing the public defender. Is there something else? No, nope, I just ask that you appoint us uh, oh. to represent him, Your Honor. Okay. All right, then uh, that's all. That's now. Let me ask the court: uh, state, uh, public defender, pretrial release, corrections, clerks, me. Is there anything left to do? Nothing from the state. All right, we're all done. Yeah. All right, oh, translator. We want to thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate your services. We really do. You're welcome, Your Honor. You have a great day. Bond Court is a free service, but it takes several hours of my time every day. Less than 10% of Bond Court viewers hit the like button, and less than 1% leave a comment. If you want Bond Court to continue to be available on YouTube for free then please hit the like button and leave a comment on all of my videos.